took off at 3.20 in the morning, flew until the sun rose, started charging batteries, and then kept flying past sunset until 9.30 and managed to fly over 18 hours, which is our new personal record. Very exciting, and it's always exciting. Well, it's sort of both. It's exciting that we can manage it, and it's sort of almost uh, boring because nothing special happened, and that's how we want it. In its third year of development, the solar-powered plane designed by Ryerson Aerospace Engineering students is getting closer to achieving its goal of flying 60 days nonstop, which would crush the current world record for solar-powered flight. Currently, the world record in long endurance flight with unmanned aerial vehicles is uh, 26 days. It's by Team Sefer, which is uh, part of Airbus. We have solar cells here on the wing that charge batteries that are also located in the wing here. <clears throat> and um, during the day, the solar cells also power the, the propeller. And at night, uh, the airplane draws its power from the batteries. And we're very optimistic that we can do the 60 days starting next May. Um, that will not happen in southern Ontario. We're talking to people in southern California, California and the Mojave Desert. There's some designated airspace for aircraft like this. The achievement would not only push forward the technology, but open up possibilities for future use. And I think we can demonstrate that this is possible, doing pure solar power to fly nonstop for such a long time. Basically, an aerial satellite that is low cost. So there's, there's gathering meteorological data for, uh, for further scientific experiments and testing. So um, in, in climate change, of course, we're seeing the, the climate change more rapidly. So it's really important to be able to gather large amounts of data over a long duration, which is what this is kind of geared towards, as well as collecting data for forest fire stuff, so mounting infrared cameras. Success of the 60-day flight depends heavily on environmental conditions that we can actually get enough sunlight to fulfill us and sustain the flight for the total amount of time and we're not, we don't encounter too much cloud cover because aspects like that are things that kind of make sure that we don't get enough power during the day flight and won't be able to stay, sustain us for the night flights. So making sure there's enough sun throughout the day, which I think we'll get in Southern California. Well, if all goes well, that record setting flight will take place next May in California. To follow the progress and see more test flight footage, you can go to our website, citynews.ca extras. At Downsview Park, Audra Brown, City News.